So today's video is going to be another story video and a little bit about my journey, talking as the title suggests, about how I actually physically quit my corporate job to do what I do today, which is working in the entertainment industry and a little bit of entrepreneurship, running my own side home business. The big idea is that I made a video, this was a little bit while back, talking a little bit about why I quit my corporate job in order to work minimum wage at that time period in order to fund a lot of different things. I definitely highly recommend checking that video out. I'm going to put it at the very, very end of this video. You can check it out and click on the end screen. It's going to be a button that you can click to watch that video after this video. If you guys have already checked that video, huge thanks. Welcome to this is the, the, I guess you can say this is kind of a part two, but you can watch it in either order. If you guys are brand new here, welcome. It's so great to have you guys consider subscribing to join our community. I know we're a little bit small right now, but we also a very tight knit community where we all know each other. And I think that's the really awesome thing. Maybe someday we'll grow into something larger, but for now, I think it's a pretty cool size to be a, a part of this early stage journey. But the idea is, is as the suggested or as just mentioned, is that today's video, I really want to just share the story to the thought process behind how I actually physically quit my corporate job. So if you are someone that's currently working a corporate job and you're thinking about quitting your corporate job and you're trying to hear the story of how someone else did it, then welcome because you are in the right video and definitely consider watching all the way through. So with that being said, let's just get right to this video. But as always, if you guys enjoy videos like this like comment subscribe hit the bell honestly it's always great to hear you guys even if you wanted to comment a hello or anything like that and with that being said let's get this video started so we're gonna start by giving a little bit of a background story before we get into the you know actual points about how you can physically quit your job because I think it's important to know where we're coming from but the big idea is that Back then, at that time period, when I quit my job, I was going through a very, very difficult time in life. I actually did very, very much love my job very, very much, which is ironic because I ended up becoming the one that left my job, you know, because I know a lot of people that worked the same job that I worked at at that time period and are possibly even to this day still at that particular job, very likely, I don't know where they're at, but very likely they're still at that job to this particular day and they really hated their job. The irony is, is I actually was someone that loved my job job. But the big idea is that I also felt that it was true that while it is a job that I loved very, very much, it was also a job that I felt left a lot more to be desired. At that time period, I was single. I was going through a heartbreak. I didn't have a lot of things going in life. I was probably about less than two years out of college. I had relatively low grades. And the big idea is that I was just the kid that was not expected to really do too much in life. And I say this very, very truthfully, because the reality is, is, is that if I was the kid that was expected to do a lot in life, why do you think my grades were so low? Why do you think I was forced to leave one of my early, I was fired from a very early job. I resigned the last corporate job I had, but I was fired from a very early job. Why do you think I was fired? Why do you think my grades were so low? And the idea is, is that because I was just not expected to really do too much, you know, at that particular time period. So it really convinced me to have to make a lot of changes. And one of the biggest changes I made was to leave my corporate job. Now, in terms of how I physically left my corporate job and the thought process behind it, the first step that it really, really took was just a lot of very, very deep self-reflection. And I think one of the biggest points is, is that if you are going to leave your corporate job, it's very, very important, not just to just blindly leave your corporate job with no backup plan, because I know there's a lot of YouTube videos that are talking about why I left my corporate job with no backup plan, which I, can kind of see why someone would do that. But in my personal opinion, I personally think that it's a lot better if you can leave your corporate job, if you are gonna leave your corporate job and not necessarily have a backup plan, but have an actual physical plan about what you wanna quit your job to go into. In other words, there is a lot of people, I think, that are trying to quit their corporate jobs. But the problem is, is, is that they either will never have the courage to do it, which we're going to talk about in a little bit. So definitely continue watching through. Or it's that they're thinking about leaving their corporate job, but they don't even know where they're going to go once they leave their corporate job. This is very, very similar to what I've seen a lot of people when I talk to a lot of people about what it's like to be retired, especially early retirement. There is a lot of people I know 
that talk about early retirement and the problem is that when it comes to early retirement or in this case quitting your job they either will never achieve that result or they will achieve that result and finally quit their jobs or retire but they won't know where to go once they actually do that you know and in the end what happens is that they spend their time bored all day, not doing anything, watching the clock sink by, watching the wall, you know, they're just looking at the wall, a white wall, and just wondering, you know, letting time fly by. And it's because they don't really know where to go. So I think is that in planning your strategy to try to leave and get out of your corporate job, it's very, very important that you devise, sorry, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Is that you, you, try to figure out and really self-reflect on what you actually want to do. Now, if there's a video of, you know, trying to make, if making a video that talks about how to find your passion is something of interest, maybe leave a comment down below because I don't think I have that video yet, but maybe it's something I'll make in the future. It's just something, you know, just an idea to really put out there. Now, which probably is a really, really great transition into the next step and the next point to really help you do your self-reflection or in addition to your self-reflection, which is that if you're planning to leave your corporate job, it's also important to spend a lot of time networking. This is something that you can do while you're working your corporate job on the side, or if you have already quit your corporate job, you can do this once you quit your corporate job, and it's to really be able to spend time to network and meet new people. Why would you want to do that? Aside from the fact that people can potentially give you more perspectives and ideas, is that by networking, you're able to gain a lot of knowledge. You're able to learn from people, especially if it's someone that has good, done something that you are trying to do. You know, if it's someone that has maybe actually physically left their corporate job, people that have started their own business, I think at the end of the day, it's always a lot nicer to be able to talk to people, especially if you can get yourself in a one-on-one -on -one conversation. It's going to be a lot more intimate and a lot more more personable than just hearing people talk about things in like a large group setting or reading a very generic article. Face-to-face -face interaction, one-on-one -on -one interaction is probably one of the most intimate ways that you can really go about achieving this. And I think is that at the end of the day, networking is going to be one of your biggest tickets to getting out of your corporate job because it's going to give you and show you the opportunities and the possibilities of what's really physically out there to maybe share a personal story about me for me at that time period i was working a corporate job in civil engineering i really really had thoughts about wanting to break into the entertainment industry but i had no clue how i never went to film school i had no connections no friends in that particular industry everyone i knew that did filmmaking did it as a hobby and in most cases actually left that hobby because they got so busy with their regular traditional corporate jobs once they graduated college and the idea is for me though is that it was just such a strong burning passion to try to just learn about the industry that what I had to do is, is I had to do a lot of cold outreach I had to outreach um, a lot of different people and try my best to try to meet someone in the industry, even if it was to be able to just walk onto a film set and try to talk to them and learn about what was possible out there, how to actually break into this industry. And whatever industry you're trying to physically break into following the first step, that the people that work in that industry, those are going to be the people that will give you that ticket to potentially get out of your corporate job to go into whatever you're trying to actually physically go into. The idea is, is that if you're able to meet someone that has actually physically done something that you're trying to do, especially if they're further along the path, you can ask them a lot of great questions like how they did it, what they did to achieve that result, what was it like to get started, was there any training involved? All of these are just potential questions that you can potentially ask them which probably goes on to the final step there's just so many things i can talk about you know um in this particular video but to simplify it into just three steps the final step really is that if you're trying to get out of corporate america you just have to actually physically do it i know it's a lot easier said than done but at the end of the day there's a lot of people like mentioned earlier is that they're going to think about quitting corporate america but they're not going to have the courage to actually physically quit corporate america and it's really important important that if you're able to self-reflect, if you're able to network, and then finally, as the final step, if you're able to devise a strategy for how to actually physically get out of the corporate world, then the most important thing is, is that you have to actually take action on that particular strategy. And by taking action, that is going to be your ticket and path to how you can maybe, just maybe, potentially get out of your corporate job to go into something hopefully better. Or maybe you quit your corporate job to go into another corporate job, but it happens to be a better corporate job. All of these points still very 
very, very much apply if you're just trying to make some kind of particular change in your life. And I think that's probably the biggest takeaway. If there's any takeaway, taking action is probably going to be the biggest one to get out of this particular video. But of course, if you guys hopefully found that relatively insightful, that's pretty much what I wanted to share. As mentioned before, consider smashing the like button if you guys you know, enjoyed this video or leave a comment for suggestions for improvements about anything. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell. And with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Stay safe, stay well, stay employed or stay, ch you know, positive about your changes that you're trying to make and hope to see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much again.